Hi there, I'm Francesca, a customer success manager at Slack. Today I'll be discussing how you can optimize Slack for your customer success team. Customer success is all about enhancing the customer experience. However, a string of different communication tools and a lack of centralized information can slow teams down. Slack helps by bringing your people and processes together in one place, driving collaboration, alignment, and communication so you can meet and exceed customer expectations. Our team found that customer success teams who leverage Slack are able to decrease the need for internal customer meetings by 50% and decrease turnaround for customer responses by 60%. As a customer success manager myself, I'm so excited to share some use cases with you about how your customer success team can leverage Slack both internally amongst customer success teams and externally with your customers. So with that said, today we'll cover how to have seamless customer handoffs, streamline product feedback with Workflow Builder, how to use Slack for team management, and how customer success teams can leverage Slack Connect to build stronger customer relationships. First, let's talk about increasing collaboration across account teams. At Slack, we use account channels to centralize customer conversations for both the pre- and post-sale interactions. As a result, the account channel and corresponding channel canvas serve as the main source of truth for the account team and makes account transitions or customer handoffs a breeze. As a new customer success manager on an account, I can quickly catch up on all of the context and details within the internal account channel, ensuring I have all the context necessary to have a successful engagement with a customer. A pro tip would be to create a Canvas template for yourself to standardize all of your account channel canvases. Next, by integrating Slack with your service or ticketing platform, you can send support tickets to either a support cases channel or directly into the account channel. This allows customer success managers to proactively monitor the number and types of support cases being opened, giving visibility to intervene or escalate when needed. You can either create a support cases channel for all cases on the account you were assigned to, or direct the tickets to the respective account channels. As a CSM, we're always working to gather valuable product feedback from our customers. However, without a process to collect and share back that feedback, it's easy for very valuable customer feedback to not make it back to the right people. Next, let's take a look at a few use cases around collecting and actioning customer feedback in Slack. First, create a product feedback channel and workflow to streamline the collection of feedback. This is a great way to make sure our customers' valuable feedback is documented and actionable. Here is a sample product feedback channel. You'll notice the channel is public and has members from the customer success team, but also product and engineering in it. This brings visibility across all teams to the feedback so that all of the feedback a customer shared is making it to the right people and they all have visibility to see that feedback. To actually submit feedback, we use workflows. Try creating a simple form as a way to standardize the information that's shared so that the product team has everything they need in order to take action on the feedback captured. In addition to collecting product feedback, sometimes this feedback requires involvement from a product manager. For these instances, you can create a channel with product and CS leadership as a space to request product manager involvement in customer calls. This request form can also be powered by Slack's workflow builder and streamlines the collection of key meeting information. For more information on building workflows used in the past two use cases, be sure to check out the Success Hub and check out the Workflow Builder webinar. Now, let's shift from product feedback to an internal team use case around how to use Slack to effectively manage your work on your customer success team. As a customer success manager, we use lots of tools day-to-day -to, -day to collaborate. Try integrating those tools into Slack to bring all of the valuable data and information on your third-party tools directly where you're already working. A few of my favorite integrations include the Salesforce Sales Cloud app, to have real-time alerts on customer activity, Google Calendar to make sure I never miss an important meeting, and Google Drive, Google Drive to allow me to effectively collaborate on QBRs and EBRs all within Slack to give access to comment, view, and edit my files. Next, as a manager, Slack is a great way to get new success managers up to speed fast. Try creating an onboarding bot workflow to add new customer success managers to relevant account channels. Share onboarding documents and automate onboarding activities. Sharing an onboarding canvas with a new hire is a great way to bring together all relevant onboarding documents, tasks, and media in one central location to make the onboarding experience less overwhelming for new hires. Lastly, if you're an individual contributor or a manager, try creating a one-on-one -on -one channel with your manager to create a space to highlight wins, share feedback, and ask for help. The channel canvas and your one-on-one -on -one channel is the perfect spot to keep a running agenda for your one-on-one -on -one meeting. 
Finally, my favorite part about being a success manager is customer relationships. Let's look at one last example for strengthening customer relationships with Slack Connect. With Slack Connect, you can set up dedicated account channels with your customers, all without having to leave the place you and your customers are already working. As mentioned at the start of this clip, this greatly helps with speeding up the response times for both the customer success manager and the customer, also helping with enabling faster time to value for customers, and lastly, letting you bring all of the amazing automations from Slack to your customers in that Slack Connect channel. That's all for today. Hope I inspired you with some use cases for how to use Slack for your customer success team. Check out the Success Hub for more ways to get more value out of Slack and tips and tricks to get the most out of everything Slack has to offer. Hope this was helpful and thanks so much for listening.